On my way back, I saw this uh, apparent Christian preacher with a sign that said something like, Jesus is God and Islam is evil, whatever. And he was preaching. I had things to do that day, but I'm going to go back and try to find him. When somebody makes a claim like that, we're not going to let them get away with it. We're going we're gonna to hold them to it. Well, what's up with the sign about Islam being evil? Islam man? is evil. Why is Islam, Islam is evil? Why is it evil? Why is it evil? They kill people. You, what, do you, what do you mean they, they kill people? They Who's kill. they? I don't kill anybody. Islam does. How do you mean Islam? In the name of Allah, they say. What do you mean in the name? So, so if you get a crusader killing people in the name of Jesus, is that evil? Yes, it is. All right, so then Christians are evil. Then no, Christianity. No, 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 no. Why, 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 is, why is there a difference? Because there's more Islam bombing okay. people okay. as a whole okay, okay, okay. than so, it is Christians. So you tell me this. People. You tell me this. Have more people died under the name of the crusade and the Spanish Inquisition and the cross or in the name of jihad? Probably jihad. Think about, think about your history. I know. How many crusades? A lot. Right? Seven at least that were, that were well documented. Yeah. Yeah. You talk about World War I, World War II. Which one of them was a Muslim country? None of them. So Hitler was what? Hitler was Hitler. Hitler was Christian. No, he wasn't. What was his sign? The Iron matter. Cross. He quoted the Bible. Hitler How are you going to tell me he wasn't Christian? The devil could quote the Bible. If the devil quoted the Bible and killed people in the name of the Bible, does that blame the Bible or the devil? The devil. So if a Christian goes and kills a bunch of Muslims, you're going to blame every Christian for it? No. Who are you going to blame for it? Him. So if a Muslim does an act of terrorism, why are you blaming the religion for it? Show me in scripture. I'll show you from your scripture. I'll show you from your own book. All right, look, okay. right here. 1 Samuel 15, 3. Now go and attack Amulek and utterly destroy all that they have and do not spare them, but kill both man and woman, infant and nursing child, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. They were going against God's word. So, do, so killing do. innocent children. This is in your Bible it's, in front of you. Casualties is in everything. What? It's always casualties. Well, look, look, look. When you go and fight a people, in Islam, somebody attacks you, you defend yourself. But you don't go and chop up innocent children, ox and sheep. Look at this. It says infant children, nursing children, women. Why would you kill the women? Why because would you kill they, those that aren't fighting? Because they, she should have stopped her man from sinning. So the infant okay, child should have stopped their father no. or their mother? The mother should have stopped their So father. what was wrong with the infant child? Why was he cut they up into leave, pieces? They couldn't keep him there by themselves. So you couldn't raise that child? You couldn't protect that child? No. Why not? What about the ox and sheep? They can't live by themselves either? No. I'm trying to make up excuses for your Bible, man. You know? So evil people can be killed and massacred. Their, their children can be chopped up. Their donkeys and ox can be Sometimes killed. Sometimes it has to happen. So you would do that if God I told would. you today. I would. So, the, so the Bible is there today and tells you, go and kill these people and chop up their little children and kill their ox and sheep and kill their women. Would you do it? If they were contaminating the world and if I didn't stop them, then if you're, they would then the world, you're I would the, kill them. then if you're killing babies, you're the evil. You're the I terrorist. The what? I saved the world. Okay, so if a Muslim kills somebody, then Islam is evil. But if you kill children, you're saving the world? You don't see that as hypocrisy? No. You believe this is the word of God? Yes. This is not the word of God. The word of God. I can prove it to you. Prove it to me. Second Kings 826. Isaiah was 22 years old when he became king and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. That's His right. mother's name was Athaliah, the granddaughter for me. That's right. Yep, that's How old right. was he? 22? 22. All right. 22. 22. The same Bible, 2 Chronicles 22 2. Isaiah was 42 years old when he became king and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Athaliah, the granddaughter of Umri. So was he 42 or 22? It was 22. So but why does it say 42? Because we've got two different views. Okay, so Somebody one of them is wrong. Okay, so 42 is wrong according to you. Okay, so this is not the word of God then because it's got the words of humans that are wrong. Well, yeah, so who made the Quran? A human. No, no, the Quran is revealed by Allah with perfection, not a single mistake in it. You show me a single mistake in the Quran right now, I'll leave Islam. Go ahead. You show me where that is that came from straight from God. I'll show it to you right now. Show me. Look, the Prophet Muhammad couldn't read or write. You know that, right? Yes. Yes. Everybody agrees you couldn't read or write. Yeah. So somebody that can't read or write, yeah. how could they bring forth a book that was so perfect that it says La Rayba Fihi, there is no doubt in it. And it challenged all of the Arab of the time until today to bring a book like it and people can't. You, if you couldn't read or write, can you come up with a book that's better than Shakespeare, better than anything? Yeah. Till today, the Arabic grammar, when we study it, we go back to the Quran. How could the Prophet do it? You tell me this, tonight, when the moon comes out, can you split it? No. 
If the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he split the moon and brought it back together. I'll show you a video I made with evidence, with, with clear historic evidence, scientific evidence that showed that this happened. How could he do it if he wasn't a Prophet? Go ahead. Okay. Then it's the truth. Have you ever read the Quran? I read some. I'm going to give you a Quran. I'm going to go to my car. I'm going to give you a Quran. Just read it. And, and give, give, me, give me this thing. He can't be out here promoting hate against Islam and stuff, bro. That's not happening, man. You're right. All right.